Hey guys, it's Mike here again with Viper Paranormal. I want to start off by thanking everyone for watching our videos and taking the time to comment. I would like to take this opportunity to announce our new website. The address is www.viperparanormal.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the K2 meter. Now the K2 meter is used to pick up EMF frequencies. It also picks up radio frequencies and God only knows what else. Some of the K2 meters are modified with a switch on the side here. This one is not. Keep this in mind. When you trigger it up and you're holding your thumb down on it, after a while your thumb is going to get tired and it could possibly cause false readings. So we're going to do it like the professionals on TV do. Wink, wink. And we're going to jam a quarter in it. So without further ado, let's get started. The K2 meter is a very sketchy device, but if you know how to use it properly, it can become an asset to any paranormal investigator's tool bag. As you all know, the K2 meter is an electromagnetic field meter. What I have here is a handheld radio that I'm going to actually put up to the back of the K2 meter, and if you look closely, you're going to see those lights blinking. The reason those lights are blinking is because of the magnet that is in this radio. The magnet is causing the K2 meter to pick up on an electromagnetic frequency. The K2 meter also picks up on radio frequencies. If I cue this radio up, you're going to notice that the lights are going to blink. The reason why is this is also picking up a radio frequency from the transmission of this radio. Radios aren't the only thing that will do it. Cell phones will do it. I'm going to actually show you with a home telephone. When I turn this phone on, it's also going to pick up a pretty steady reading. Uh, the same thing goes for cell phones. Basically what I'm getting at is that the K2 meter does not only pick up electromagnetic frequencies. A good way to avoid this, or at least help control it, is to have another EMF meter handy, whether it be a digital one or an analog one. When you're doing your K2 sessions, you want to place them side by side, and if your lights are going off, you can look and compare to your other EMF meter. And if this isn't doing the same thing, there's a good chance that you picked up on some sort of a radio frequency or just something else. There you have it, the K2 meter. I hope you found this video informative and useful. Thank you again for watching my videos. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our website, www.viperparanormal.com.